Hey, you. Are you a socialist? Once there was a system of government called socialism. It was so awful that everyone died. It is a whole new country tonight, ladies and gentlemen, and that is our headline this Tuesday night, day number 29 of socialism you can believe in, the new America. And that's the word socialist. But it pushes this country further and further towards socialism. How is Senator Obama not being a Marxist if he intends to spread the wealth around? He is a socialist. This uh, uh, redistribute the wealth comment. Pat Robertson thinks we're heading for socialism. More and more people that are young are signing right up to be a Marxist and a socialist. Socialists are walking the halls of the Capitol. The people will welcome socialism. In a proletariat uprising to overthrow the rule but, but of the class. He's a big socialist guy. We are in a communist system all no, of the no, Soviet no. Union. It is Marxist. It is socialist. <laughs> socialist trademark Bernie Sanders a socialism does not work socialism does lead to recession uh, you know you're killing and eating your pets when you say commie little socialist you sound like Trump when he called Sanders a socialist slash communist they're not the same thing that's like saying dog slash pigeon Communism is the opposite of capitalism, whereas socialism recognizes that capitalism results in inequality. So sometimes the state has to step in. That's all socialism is. It's not fucking communism, it's compromise. Yet you still get to do business, make money, have ambitions, but when there are people making billions whilst others literally starve, the state is there to curb those excesses. Okay? It's helping poor and vulnerable people. It's less people living on our streets. It's legal aid, a socialist ideal that means everyone has affordable access access to our justice system. Who in their right fucking mind thinks that's a bad idea? I watched Hillary last night with, we're gonna give this, we're gonna give that, we're gonna give that. She, the poor woman, she's gotta give everything away because this maniac that was standing on her right is giving everything away, so she's following. That's what's happening. This socialist slash communist, okay? Nobody wants to say it. She's standing there listening to this guy. He's going to tax you people at 90%. He's going to take everything. And nobody's heard the term communist. But you know what? I call him a socialist slash communist, okay? Because that's what he is. You don't consider yourself a capitalist, though. Do I consider myself part of the casino capitalist process by which so few have so much and so many have so little by which Wall Street Greed and recklessness wreck this economy? No, I don't. I believe in a society where all people do well, not just a handful of billionaires. So stop right there. When people argue about the meanings of words, socialism, progressivism, communist, you're a, you're a socialist, a conservative, a progressive, a, a, a uh, right wing, a left wing. You're a Democrat. No, you're a Republican. You're a, uh, a libertarian. You're green. You're... All these terms, right? <clears throat> Looney left, Nazi right, Tea Party. The terms are killing us. And who wins? Who wins in that killing? The oligarchy, right? Know thy enemy. The, poli the money in politics is the thing that's killing us, right? The, the powerful influence of money in politics is what causes it. It corrupts the judicial. It corrupts the politicians it corrupts the media right that's the fight right the oligarchy wins when people are fighting over uh, socialism the calling each other names uh, you know w what happens is a gamer like Donald Trump comes along and wins a media guy wins I never thought we'd see the day in our country when a communist because that's really you think about it when a communist is the leading Democrat we're gonna have a communist against an entrepreneur he wins that war right? right but what's the real problem the real problem is one in seven people on food stamps in america right 70 percent of the people don't have 400 dollars to their name these are the real problems how do you solve it you raise the corporate tax rate right you don't cut it and give wall street and and banks you know carte blanche to rape the country right you don't deregulate them and turn your back on them and they don't pay a nickel in tax. No, you regulate the money where the money is, right? We've entrusted the corporations to, to, to navigate our economics, right? But what do they do? They take the money and they, they, they run, right? 
That's the problem, right? So it's not socialism, it's not communism, it's not democratic, it's not progressive, right? You have to eliminate, you have to get rid of all these things, right? You have to lose the terms and call it what it is. It's oligarchy, where a small number of people control the board. It's you're sitting at the monopoly table, right? And all the money is stacked in, you know, one guy has all the money, all the hotels, all the everything, right? And you're just sitting there with one, you know, with your one dollar bill and you're rolling the dice and you're waiting to die, right? That's oligarchy. That's where we are right now. You have no chance of winning. Right? You have no chance of, forget about winning, competing, right? That's where we are right now. It's not, no one's, socialism, when you hear those terms, those are the terms the oligarchy is going to use over and over again to defeat you, right? That's how they win. That's how they win, right? They cause, they cause a distraction with, with, with words. Communist, socialist, you're a Republican, ooh, Trump supporter, Sanders supporter, right? All these, all these terms, right? But if people keep cold focus, right, right, steady aim, take aim at the oligarchy, come together, join. 99% of us are in the same boat, but 99% of us don't agree, right? That 1% all agree. They all, they love the fucking, they love Trump's tax cuts. And they, they love the way the system is. They love the status quo. And they love that people are going to argue and fight and, they don't know if they're coming or going. They don't know which way is up and down. They've been propaganded and gaslit, right? They keep, you know, propaganda, the, 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 the media that they own continues the gaslighting, the, the propaganda, Russia, communist, socialist, The same people that would vote to cut defense 177 billion, the same ones that would put homos in the military, the same ones that would not fund BRAC, the same Mr. ones chairman. that would not clear up. Mr. No, chairman. I will not. Sit down, you socialist. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. The gentleman, you. Hey, socialism's bad, except when it's not. <laughs> you know, socialism, when we build roads, libraries, schools, hospitals, uh, the military. Uh, Social Security, Medicare, those are all socialism. The socialist experiment is socialism at its worst. Stop the socialist experiment. That is what socialists always want. The socialists want to be in control, and that is a socialist agenda. Socialist, 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 socialist. The Krieg, der jetzt durch die Länder geht. This road to socialism. Uh, yeah, their policies are socialist. We would have been less socialist during the Clinton administration than we are today under Obama. Most of the people who are writing about socialism don't know anything about it either. So you call yourself a democratic socialist. How can any kind of socialist win a general election in the United States? Well, we're going to win because first we're going to explain what democratic socialism is. And what democratic socialism is about is saying that it is immoral and wrong that the top one-tenth of one percent in this country own almost 90 percent, almost own almost as much wealth as the bottom 90 percent. That it is wrong today in a rigged economy that 57 percent of all new income is going to the top one percent. That when you look around the world, you see every other major country providing health care to all people as a right, except the United States. Now, as far as socialism is concerned, that term has been so uh, evacuated of content over the last century that it's hard even to use. I mean, the Soviet Union, for example, was called a socialist society. And it was called that by the two major propaganda um, uh, operations in the world, uh, the US, the Western one, and the Soviet one. They both called it socialism for opposite reasons. 
uh, the West called it socialism in order to defame socialism by associating it with this uh, miserable tyranny. My name is Ronald Reagan. One of the traditional methods of imposing statism or socialism on a people has been by way of medicine. I mean, the core notion of at least traditional socialism is that uh, what you mentioned, that working people have to be in control of production and communities have to be in control of their own lives and so on, including the institutions in which they work, the communities in which they live and so on. Call it what name you want, but that's traditional socialism. If we interpret it um, uh, colloquially, if we interpret it in layman's terms, confirms that the United States is not a democracy, but rather an oligarchy. The candidates are increasingly dependent on the very, very wealthy. The U.S. is not a democracy, but instead an oligarchy. And what are these terms? What do these terms mean? A democracy would be a system of government by the whole population or all the eligible members of a state, typically through elected representatives. In other words, the will of the people. The will of the people is reflected in the system that uh, 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 in the system of government, in the laws. An oligarchy is when a small group of people have control of a country, organization, or institution. But if I'm a normal politician who needs to raise twenty, fifty million dollars, where do I go? I'm going to sit down with the wealthy. I'm going to go to the country club. I'm going to do my fundraisers at fancy resorts, and I get to know those people. But that's the whole point of this corrupt campaign finance system. If you're going to contribute a million dollars to my super PAC, well, maybe that you're a hell of a nice guy and you like to participate, or maybe you want something. I think you want something. And you and a guy are going to become really good buddies so I can do your bidding. In other words, the millionaire class and the billionaire class increasingly own the political process and they own the politicians who go to them for money. We need to break through the fog of the corporate media. Senator Sanders, are you charging that these multi-billion dollar corporations that run the media might be part of the establishment? That's a hard one, Jake. Why do you ask me such hard, difficult <laughs> questions? That is the establishment. You are paying for it is actually punitive. You're going to punish uh, people who make money. You're going to punish the financial district. You're going to uh, punish and wind up changing the idea of an open and free economy because you're going to punish them for speculating. Now, I believe that we counted four punishes in there. Um, <laughs> I think what you have is a corporate media which by definition has conflicts of interest, right? Comcast owns NBC. It's probably one of the most attested companies in the country. Disney is a co-owner. They're paying their workers in Disney World eight or nine bucks an hour, uh, bringing in people from around the world to replace American workers. So I hope you enjoyed that. My name is Marcus Conti. I'm an investigative journalist, reporter here on YouTube, and a candidate for the United States Senate. If you like this type of programming and uh, you want to combat the corporate media, this is a great way to do it. I'm not the only. Uh, I'm not the only tool in the shed. There's many other uh, in, independent journalists on YouTube that you could reach out to. But here's my links. Right, I'll put them right over right here. So you can contribute through uh, PayPal. Uh, uh, Patreon. I have a uh, GoFundMe uh, uh, thing going for my Senate campaign. So anyway, I hope that was uh, helpful. Socialism is not uh, is, is now a four-letter word. I hope uh, progressivism. I hope is a four-letter word. I hope people stop using those terms and uh, come together um, and uh, you know stop the madness. You know stop the madness before it's too late. It's like the equivalent, you know, if you, if you keep listening to corporate media, it's a good, a good analogy. I'll leave you with this analogy. It's, 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 like, it's like the sink is shipping. <laughs> the sink. <laughs> the ship is sinking. <laughs> right? that, this, there's something to that. I just said it backwards. The ship is sinking, right? And everyone knows it. But the corporate media, right, and, and the, now the executive branch tells you that it's rising. Everything's good. It's getting better, right? Everybody knows they're looking around, and, and they know it's it's sinking. But but you're convinced. You, you know, some they keep telling you it's rising. So yeah, rise. Let's go gaslighting. Don't be gaslighting. My name is Marcus Conti. Peace out.